Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to change your ringtone on iOS 15 or even on an iPhone 13, whatever you have. It's the same exact process. And the way to do this is very easy. All you wanna do is make sure you have the app GarageBand on your iPhone. Now, if you don't have GarageBand, it's a free application developed by Apple. So all you have to do is click on search right here, go up here and just literally just type in Garage and then typically it's the first one, type it in. And you want to install this specific application. It's a really cool app. It usually comes built in with most iPhones, but if you deleted it, you can just download it here. Now you also want to have the audio of whatever you know song you wanted to change to. So I'm not gonna tell you how to get it because most of those videos, when they tell you, they get taken down. So in this specific case, I just downloaded a sample MP3 from one of these you know, royalty-free websites. So you can try it out with this one. There's a million different ways. This is the easiest part. Just download the MP3 and then pretty much move on from there. So once you have it downloaded and it's within your iPhone, so in this specific case, it's within my Files app. So I don't know how I got there. Oh, it was a screenshot. So you can see under my iCloud drive, if I click downloads, I have some MP3s downloaded here. So as long as they're visible within your files app, then you're pretty much set. So now what you wanna do is you want to open up GarageBand. And at this point, we're going to create a new project. Now you may not come straight into this specific, you know, Outlook, you may actually come into this specific place. So either or you wanna click, you know, click that plus button, or you wanna come here and you want to make sure this one is selected on audio recorder, but you can also select any other one, it'll probably work. So you wanna go ahead and click here. And what you want to do now is you want to click on this little option right here that shows like the stacks on top of each other, not the one, this one, the third one over, and you'll come straight into here. And all we want to do at this point, this little loop icon right here, we want to go ahead and click on it and we'll come into this panel. Now we want to use our own sound. So what we can do is we click, click on files right there and we can go ahead and click on this browse from files app option right here. And all we want to do is find that specific MP3 file that we want to bring in. So in this case, I have the royalty free ones that I downloaded earlier. So all we have to do is click on the one that we want and it'll go ahead and drag it in. It'll take one second or maybe two. There we go. And at this point, all you have to do once it's brought in, it may take a little bit of time. You want to drag it and click on it. You want to drag it over and bring it over to this project. So you can bring it over to the top one, to the bottom one, it doesn't matter. And if you want to increase the you know size of the specific song, you can click on the little plus icon all the way over here and you can you know create a new section. So you can click add, go and click done, and it'll go ahead and expand this project out a little bit more if you want to. It's not for everyone. If you really don't care, then it doesn't really matter. Now at this point, all you have to do is pretty much export this as a ringtone. So in order to do this, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on this little drop down right here. So we're going to click on this little drop down and we want to click on my songs, whatever the name of this project was, and it'll go ahead and save it as a new project. So you can see it saved it right here and you know this because it's zoomed out and it's this one. Now, and you can also check the time it's edited and you want to go ahead and hold it down like this. Now, when you do that, you'll come into this panel. Now you want to click on this little share icon, which is right here, and it's going to allow you to share it as a ringtone, as a song, as a project. We want to share it as a ringtone, so go and click there. And what we want to do now is we can go ahead and name this to whatever we want. So we can go ahead and I'll just type in video, ringtone, whatever, it autocorrects to whatever, perfect. And I'll go ahead and click done. And we can go ahead and click the export button on the top right. So go ahead and click there. And what's going to happen is it's going to export this as a ringtone. And then we can go ahead and go into our ringtone panel. When you see this, you're set. Go ahead and click OK. And what we can do is we can make our way back into our settings panel. So I'll go ahead and zoom out right here. And we'll go and go into our settings panel. Now, within any stock iOS indicator that we can change our ringtone, so things like alarms, or ringtones, you know, other things like that, we'll go and be able to change it to that song. So what we want to do for our ringtone, we want to click on sounds and haptics. And right here where it says ringtone, we want to click on here. And then you will see that new ringtone right up here that we just created. So it says video ringtone. All we have to do is click on there and it'll go ahead and start playing that song for us. Now I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm going to put it down, but you may still be able to hear it. It's some dubstep song, I don't even know. And once you click on there, you're pretty much set. You can go and click back. And as long as this ringtone here says with the name of that ringtone that you just did, then you can pretty much be set and be good to go that your ringtone is now changed. So that's pretty much the process. That's how to change ringtone on iOS 15. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.